we are at the galactic center. The Kali Yuga just ended. And also the Mayan calendar is ending this year. This is according to Ishmael Perez's calculations. If you take the 13 moon calendar into account, and also Jean Deco just mentioned this again, that we actually have 13 months to the year and 28 days to the cycle of the moon, which is our days, days cycle. So this, this makes this, this year so magnificent, such a rare occasion. The longitudinal wave is organic, it's global Wi-Fi, but it's also global wireless power. So it's free energy. You have the devices to, to capture the energy, which they already had. This as opposed to because Hydra, it is a symbol for a parasitical system. What kills vampires? Garlic, sunlight, and the Holy Cross. How important sunlight is and the rays of the sun, you know, when the solar flash comes, It is also going to kill the parasites in our bodies. And it will also take down the power system. So this is a birth. And it is a rebirth. And so the old system, the parasitical system, is dying. It's the inverted system. We have birthing helpers, extraterrestrials. They have already been holding space for us in a big way, one of their jobs. They know what's going on here. This is a seed planet, and I have this information from Apollomy, who is an incredible being, such an old soul. She has memory all the way back to she came from Havona. This is the mother verse. This is the universe out of which all the multiverses, which in themselves have myriads of universes, and each universe has myriads of galaxies. It's, it's just not, we cannot fathom the, the, 
the scope of it. And she comes from this mother verse that has always been there. All the other multiverses and universes and galaxies and so forth the fract are fractaling down from Havona and they are in the cycle of where form changes. They are in cycles. They become and then they at some point dissolve again. It's the becoming and then dying, becoming and dying, the cycle of life. Except for Havona, it's always been there and it will always be there. And it, it's so big, you know, we can't imagine. She comes from that universe, explains how this whole universe, and this is also what Ishmael says, that this whole universe called Nebadon is a beta in the sense of an experimental universe. It, it has not evolved yet to be a part of the community of universes within the multiverse. She explains we are a seed planet, which is also an experiment. There are councils that are the creator councils of um, the universe, and then there's the council that is the creator council of our planet Earth. When this solar event happens, it is a very high frequency and it may take out the old technological structure or also power structure. But that again is nothing to be afraid of. The old is a parasitical structure. How much do we have to pay for power? They have already stepped in. There are many accounts of this. For example, the Cuban Missile Crisis. Then there's also the um, Project Blue Book where there have been accounts where the missiles didn't work. They didn't go off. This is like in the Cuban Missile Crisis. And I read about this a long time ago and it was like a higher power. They all explain it in a way that a higher power came in, undermined their... Otherwise we would have already had another worldwide war and it would have been with atomic weapons. So we are not allowed as the ones living on the planet to blow the planet up. We are part of the experiment. We are not allowed to destroy the planet. They're already building an alternative power, global power system that is going to be more like um, Tesla towers. In any case, it's going to be clean. And the other thing is it's going to be these, these longitudinal waves, which are standing waves. So they are balancing to our biological system as opposed to, and also not just power can travel with these longitudinal waves or in this manner, but also Wi-Fi, communication systems, telephone, and so forth can all use these, these longitudinal waves as opposed to what we have now, transverse waves. Later in the code, I will explain gravity and these different waves. The transverse waves, they are undermining our biological health and, and balance. What kills vampires? Garlic sun, sunlight and the Holy Cross. And that brought me to that has nothing to do with religion. It's this is the Holy Cross, it's perfect balance. The Holy Cross is the perfect balance of standing in your column of light and having your heart chakra open and then you have this, um, the rod coming through. And this is also, we have two poles at the moment, North and South Pole, and there are two more poles opening on the equator. And that's because the heart chakra also is opening of planet Earth and because we're moving into 5D, going through 4, 4D, and 4D is also the fourth dimension, is also the fourth chakra, it's in the center, it's in the center of eight, and that's when we'll get to the eight. <laughs> when there was fear, it was from a crashing wave, it was from a, a wild waves, a wild ocean waves, and when they would crash, there would be collateral in its wake. When I faced my fears of the tsunami wave, which is equivalent to holding space and feeling our, allowing ourselves to feel our fear-based negative emotions, I realized that I had nothing to be afraid of and my reality had changed from a very dramatic fear-based scenario into a 
beautiful, magical scenario, and the tsunami wave had turned into a standing wave in its wake. Whereas the standing wave was calm and conscious and wouldn't crash and would not cause any kind of damage. This is the difference between the transverse waves, the technology that we have right now upon which wireless communications and power is being sent. It is this chaotic collateral creating the biological damaging EMFs that squeeze our aura and the longitudinal waves here on the right, they are very calm. There's no collateral here. They don't, uh, there's, these are the standing waves. They don't crash into each other. This chaotic transverse that breaks off and these longitudinal waves, they do not break unless by force. They stand. Longitudinal, or also known as scalar waves, can implode and achieve remote plasma containment, which is global wireless power like I said, with the pyramids, where there is implosion in through the form of the pyramids. These waves then implode within the shape of a pyramid, creating global wireless power. The holy grail of plasma physics, a standing wave in the golden ratio cascade. These waves, up and down, both must add and multiply in order to produce only constructive interference, means they don't crash into each other, there's no collateral of the particles that travel along the wave. Because what is a wave? It's traveling particles. It's vibrating particles. They vibrate through the spin of their torus field. They create a frequency. Frequency is always this kind of a cascade. How frequent, this is the line, how frequent does it touch the line? How, or when you have the line in the middle, how frequent does it cross the line? That's the frequency of a particle that is vibrating, that has an oscillation rate, and that has a frequency that creates a wave. And when this wave is in phi ratio, the longitudinal wave causes the standing wave, it, as a brain wave, causes bliss in the EEG. This is the Schumann resonance, and the Schumann resonance is also said to be the is the Holy Cross. HZ stands for Hertz, which is Hertz in German is heart. It stands for the heartbeat frequency. That would be an EKG, and also the same frequency of the 52 hertz when the whales sing. And when I was in the lucid dream with the whales in the water, it was it was bliss. They were singing. They were they were vibrating together with their voices. This creates in the heart this rose, and this is the holy grail. The standing waves imploding past. Planck threshold, it creates a vortex. So when we have this harmonic in our brain, these standing brain waves, which is also self-awareness, I know who I am. It is awakeness to self, the awareness of self, self-recognition written on Solomon's temple, know thyself. And this is the know that knowing oneself is the holy grail. And what you see here is the heart chalice. That's the holy grail. This is the EKG. You see the frequencies, the waves from one angle from the side. And here you see it from the top view is the rose. And that's the code of the rose. And then here's another view where it's a butterfly, the code of a butterfly. And here, and it also creates a cone or a horn. When you would blow air through here, this is also like a horn. And with the unicorn, yeah, okay, we'll get to that now. So the unicorn is, has the horn on the third eye. Telepathy comes, will come with the crystalline DNA.